It depends. You know, I have a few rules, which are, there are some that are exempt from cancel culture. If you're an A-lister, you are cancel proof. You cannot be canceled if you're an A-lister. Look at Bill Cosby. Convicted rapist was released from jail on a technicality. After his release, after his release, he announced plans for a docu something, either a docu series or a documentary film. And he announced his intention to go on a stand-up comedy tour. Even though Bill Cosby is a convicted rapist and so many other, around 50 other women who did not get their convictions also accused him of rape, he will most likely play to sold out theaters. He probably couldn't sell out an arena, but if he did in New York City, a theater like the Beacon, or if he did a smaller theater here in Los Angeles, eight, like the Wiltern, a 1,000 seater or a, a 2,000 seater even, that probably will sell out. People will overlook that. Another example, Chris Brown. He has been canceled. And not just for what he did to Rihanna, but in the wake of that, there have been many other women that have come forward with damning allegations against Chris Brown and also men with allegations against Chris Brown. I live in Los Angeles. I get in my car. I turn on the pop station, the pop crossover station here, Kiss FM. I hear Chris Brown played on the radio. I heart owns Kiss FM. That's a huge corporate entity giving him a cosign and it goes on and on and on or mel gibson look at mel gibson that's what i was gonna say anti-semitic racist according to his ex an abusive physically abusive partner and a decade later he still has an a-list career and jody foster is singing his praises at the golden globes so you think truly like A-list, you just, you're you above can, it. I mean, unless you're locked away in jail forever, like Harvey Weinstein might be. Another theory that I have, and it just, this is the society that we live in. This is nothing new. We are an extremely shallow culture all over the world. If you are, and not many people are, so it's almost not even worth spending too much time on, but if you are ridiculous, ridiculously good looking, like, like a model, you can get away with anything. You know, I could have done everything that I did in the past that has rightfully angered so many gay men. But if I looked like the hottest male model on this planet, gay men would be like, oh, all right, fine, whatever. He's, in, he's a douchebag, he's done douchebag things, but I'll, I'll, I'll fuck him. So, yeah. Well, I mean, yes, like look at, I mean, I'm not getting into politics, but I'm just saying like, look at like Aaron Shock. Everyone says yes. all these gay boys say I'm liberal, I'm liberal, but they want to fuck Aaron Shock, period. Right, right. The, and yeah, stalk the, his Instagram and watch every move he does. That's the bottom line. Yeah. And also, you know, I, I've said this before and it's the truth. And I, I mentioned this in the article. I'm realistic. It's very unlikely to happen, but Success is a great cure-all, meaning if all of a sudden I got a sitcom that wasn't just yet another show on TV, it had to be a huge pop culture global sensation like Schitt's Creek or Glee or Modern Family. And if I was playing a lovable character on that show, it wouldn't erase my past I would not be any different than who I am right now, but people's perception of me would change because I was on this hit show. 